Hey guys, it's Lord Gomez here with another Warhammer Fantasy Battle Report. Uh, this time it's my Organ Goblins, Work in Progress Organ Goblins versus uh, Demons of Chaos uh, Army. It's 2400 points, it's an ETC comped uh, game, uh, so the Orcs get 2500 points. Uh, so Magic, um, we've got a level 2 and a level 4. Uh, level 2's just got Fists and Hand of Gork, and level 4's got the rest of them. And then I've got a Orc Ball Rider uh, with a the ruby ring. I didn't get uh, pictures of his, but he's got a great and clean one, level two of Nurgle with Miasma of Pestilence and Blades of Putrefaction. Um, he's got a Herald level one on death with Caress of Blanef. And I think another level two of Nurgle, uh, but I don't know if it came into play much. Uh, so one thing um, which I forgot until we started playing is uh, you can only throw five dice as well at magic spells, which makes foot a little harder to get off. So here's deployment. Um, again, sorry for my unpainted stuff at the bottom there. My savages are still <laughs> getting painted and my uh, trolls as well. So I'll just go through his quickly. Uh, I've got some uh, plague bearers out on the left and then a single beast and then plague drones. The great and clean one at the back. The plague drones have poison. And then we've got like, I think it's about 32 uh, plague bearers there. Um, and in that unit there, uh, he's got his Herald and his BSB, and then another single beast, another three beasts, and a Soul Grinder. And then on my left flank, I've got a Rock Lobber, a Mangler Squig, some Wolf Riders, a Doom Diver, Boar Chariot, and then in the middle I've got my Savage Orc block with level four and my Black Orc War Boss. You can see Mangler in front of that as well. And then I've got a bunker at the back there with my level two and my BSB in it. Um, Snotling Pump Wagon at the front, another chariot at the front. Six trolls with a keeper, a uh, big boss there on a boar. And then over on my right flank, an, a, another Rock Lobber and Doom Diver and my other Wolf Riders. And you can also see he's scouted uh, two bases of Nurglings. So uh, Demons win the first turn, so they just come, obviously, they push her forward. As you can see, no charges or anything like that. Uh, the Nurglings move up. I can't. They may have failed a charge. I think they just moved up one of the two. <clears throat> just go back. Yeah. Uh, and then Magic was uh, rolled an eight. So there's that Dark Prince Thirst. I had to roll a, a dice for everyone. These uh, right hand Wolf Riders I failed. And um, 3d6 on top of their leadership. Yeah, they're dead. Uh, in terms of spells, he got Miasma of Pestilence off on this beast here, this single beast at the front. And then he got the Putrefication one off on his left, other left beast there. Orcs turn one, um, Animosity is fine, Stupidity is fine. So I moved my Chaff units up. Um, Wolf Riders and one chariot going left, the Pump Wagon heading out that way to the left, sort of in the middle. Um, and I sent one mangler up, one mangler on my left there, is, yeah, it's out of picture, but it's just staying near my war machines. Actually bounced off the back of the board, failed its train, dangerous train, got a wound. Um, but yeah, the rest of my army basically just stays in the middle, at least the, the two blocks. So shooting, um, yeah, who did you shoot at? I've only got, you know, two rock lobbers with the high strength, so... It was between that and the Great and Clean one, the Soul Grinder or the Great and Clean one. I went the Soul Grinder purely because it was a bigger base. Um, <clears throat> I think whatever happened, I ended up getting, uh, I don't think I got any through. Uh, one hit, <clears throat> one actually got a hit, but he warded it. Um, it was the start of some pretty good saves uh, on my opponent's behalf. And my Doom Divers, I wanted to keep my Brock Lobber alive, so I... I had to waste my Doom Diver shots at this Nurgling base. One hit killed four, so that was one base gone, and then the other one ended up unfortunately scattering. So going into Magic, uh, it was an eight to six, and nothing really happened. I, I think I I might have got one spell off, but um, when I went five dice on foot, he dispelled it. So it was nothing much happened there. So Damon's turn two, we end up with. Uh, a double flea happening here. Um, I don't know why, but that's what I did. <laughs> so he single beast charged my chariot there. It's just gone off the picture there. Um, I fled, and then he redirected into my wolf riders. I fled, but he caught them. 
Um, he's still going to charge the the board chariot, which up there sort of was uh, blocking him. Um, I failed my terror test, and <laughs> it took off. And then he redirected into my trolls and made it, which sent out my fanatics. One went through, he landed on one. Um, I think all up I caused one wound on the soul grinder, though, through the fanatics. So that's them. The soul grinder hit my trolls, so I already turned two, <laughs> and he's into me. Um, this right hand single beast uh, just goes and sits on my mangler squig, uh, but dies. And then he tries to charge my rock lobber there with his nurgling base. I think he fails that one. Great unclean one up there jumps the fence and charges my pump wagon. So your magic, I think, was only a three. Um, the only thing he really got off, he got my asthma or pestilence off on his great unclean one. Um, promptly killed, so promptly killed my uh, pump wagon in combat. And then um, in combat on this one, um, he uses that attack with the soul grind. I can't remember what it is, where he can um, you know, force an issue test on one of my uh, figures, so, which is he just picks out a troll and then all attacks onto that and kills one. Um, we, we, we lose the combat, but we hold due to steadfast. So Orc turn two, um, I send this mangler out over the top of this beast. <laughs> And he wards it. So that's great, didn't do anything. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my turn two, I've got virtually no pictures. Uh, magic's bust again, I think. Yeah, it was seven to six. I was going to obviously do five dice on foot. Um, or hand, I was actually debating hand. But in any case, um, I threw two dice at Ed Butt first and failed to cast. Um, so that was a waste. Oh, I, and then I think I did have hand, so um, I threw five dice at that, but he had six dice uh, to dispel it. Um, I left one of my rock lobs couldn't shoot because it panicked last turn. I don't think I saw that showed you that. Um, the other one I shot at the great and clean one. I either missed it or he warded it. Um, and then my other two doom divers went at that single nurgling base, which still hadn't charged my rock lobber, and all of them either failed or warded. And into combat, so the Soul Grinder, I think he took one wound off one of my trolls. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't do anything to him, so it was a... He wins, but I was steadfast, nine, re-rollable, and I failed. <laughs> and he, I ran off the board. So there goes my trolls. So Demon's Turn 3, uh, that little Nurgling base... Oh, looks, look, it's got two wounds, so I think one of the Doom Divers did do two wounds to it. Um, charges my right hand rock lobber. And his other beast charges my Doom Diver. And his drones charge my chariot. And his great unclean one charges my Savage Elk Horde. And then these three beasts that you can see in the uh, background there charge through the Fanatic and they make it into my bunker. Um, these these plague bearers uh, pop my other mangle there, and so this is what it looks like on uh, Demon's Turn Three. I don't really have much left already. Uh, so magic was eight. This time it didn't actually do any damage. Um, I think he got my asthma up on his ground and clean one again. Uh, that was pretty much it. Yeah, there we go. And oh yeah, his soul grind is just reformed to face that uh, doom diver over there. So into combat, um, one of his beasts challenges my level two shaman, um, puts a wound on him. Um, that was about it. We actually, um, he may have even killed. I think he killed like two night bombs. We actually uh, won this combat just through um, combat res. This doom diver dies from the beast. And this great unclean one calls out a challenge. Um, probably made a big mistake here. Um, so I responded with my champion. He dies, obviously. Um, but in regard, you know, what we what I probably should have done is just refused. He would have sent maybe my warlord back to the back, um, but at least we would have been able to attack with a lot of attacks. So you learn, live and learn. Uh, this chariot dies to the plague drones. 
this right hand rock lobber dies to the two <laughs> the Nurgling base. And so walk turn three, it's looking great here. My fanatic goes straight through my horde and kills five of them. And I charge my chariot into the side of his Great Unclean one. Not expecting much, toughness seven, strength five charge. Magic seven to four, or five dice, here we go and get it up. Um, and this time I, now, we talked about this, maybe this was a mistake now. But basically I, uh, um, he calls out a challenge again, I refuse, he sends my Warlord back, um, which is great, but because I charged the chariot in there, he just puts all his attacks on that and, and gets rid of it. So as a result, um, yeah, I don't do any wounds to him, um, and I think he's even winning the combat again. In either case, I'm steadfast that I hold. And... This combat here, we actually uh, again through combat res, we actually pop a beast, which is amazing. And um, he's only ever he's only able to do one wound to my um, level two there. Demon's turn four. His plague bearers get into my left hand rock lobber. His plague drones come into my front, and his soul grinder goes into the doom diver. <laughs> and these guys just move up. And this beast just walks past my other guys. So yeah, the uh, Doom Diver's obviously dead through the Soul Grinder. That Rock Lobber's dead. And then here's a close-up picture of my Warlord, this time staying in the challenge uh, and dying. And yeah, his Plague Drones go to town as well. I don't even think we did much to them. He either warded it. I think we did one wound, even though we had... Uh, here we go up. I got here we go again on my orc turn four, but it's not helping. I lost double another rank. So the only reason I'm holding is currently still steadfast. Um, single beast left over here kills my BSB. And into his turn five, well, he got rid of my steadfast income of the plague bearers. And in goes his solitary beast and his soul grinder into that bunker. And that's it. <laughs> we called it there. Obviously, uh, the savages are doomed that turn. They'll lose their steadfast. They'll run. <clears throat> and yeah, those bunkers are dead. So it's a tabling in five turns. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, I really need some more practice with these orcs and get them a few more things. I mean, I've probably, I don't know, maybe I've got the board chariots and the bump wagon. I mean, they're fun, but I don't know. I just don't know how to use chaff at the moment, I don't think to do a little bit more work on that and thinking of getting a few more trolls just pad out my block of six to eight and then have a spare one just as, to use as a single troll and get rid of that uh, boar the orc boar guy the, the escort i don't think he's really needed so yeah a few things to do with it um i like the orcs but yeah they're, they're still a bit more of a challenge especially against nurgle like this when they get get turn one on you and um my shooting was pretty much ineffective couldn't get foot off. Yeah, it was a, it was a fun game, but it was a disaster. <laughs> so I hope you like it. Give me some advice uh, and uh, like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.